Ooh, there you go. Jam coming out of there. It's like a oh, relief. <laughs> I'm gonna get twice as <laughs> twice as much smoke. Freeze fail. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh, that's nice. it. Yeah. Let's break away that top bit there. So I can see. Okay. I can now uh, go wide. Nice. Rack back if you got a free hand, Jake. Back. Rack back. Rack back. Rack back. Rack back. Nice. Okay, you can rack out. Rack it out. Hundred and thirty, hundred and seventy, hundred and ninety six, two twenty, two thirty four, two fifty one, two sixty five, two seventy five, two eighty five, two ninety five, easy three oh three, three three ten, wow, three seventeen, three twenty three, three twenty five, three twenty eight, <laughs> three thirty one, oh three thirty two, nope. three thirty two. Slow down. Is probe. that as buried as you think you can get it? The probe cooks at 400, so no, but I can get... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're going to get any hotter at that far end. No, it's usually holding at 336.8, 336.9, 337. Okay. So, yeah. Cook that cable. Cook that <laughs> manipulator. <laughs> 338. Happy? Happy? Uh, yeah, we can, yeah. Well, I can yeah. play around in there all night. No, no. Or at least all for good. the next 25 minutes. 339. Oh. 339. It's going to hold around there. Three. No, it's out now. Yeah. 339. Yeah. 339. Uh, yeah, sorry, I pulled it out. All right. Uh, um, That's okay. Okay, rack back. Rack back. I mean, it's only 642 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> I don't Seems pretty hot to me. That's yeah. got to be. That's that's the hottest I've seen on this cruise. Yep. I mean, aluminum nice. starts to melt at 660 degrees C, so... It's a hot potato. Mm -hmm. yeah. The probe stops working about 400 C. <laughs> then we change it. The problem is the uh, O-rings in the arm only oh can yeah. handle about 121 C. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're done. <laughs> Freeze fail. Oh. Don't push me off the cliff. Huh? Back to the o -ring We're near the cliff. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, that um, gas tight safety has wrapped itself around a little bit. Oh, yeah, I see that. Eh, eh. So this is 22. Uh, blue and Ow. white. I believe so. So uh, you saw how we rigged all of ours. Yeah. These ones got deployed. Uh, Anti-fouling rigging before. Yeah, it's a good lesson. I didn't look this at the... This is 22. Uh, I didn't get a chance to look at the... The tool basket. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. We are meant to. Freeze fail. Freeze fail. That bolt's making it harder for you, too. I'm tempted to... You could... Oh, yeah, that'll work. <coughs> Please fail. If you Rock are out. able to uh, pull, box out. If, box you're out, box out. if you're able to pull the safety free from the top, and yeah. then the probe will just come with it. Yeah. More harm than good on this one. Keeps writing with Sharpie on my gas tights. Oh, I see. Well, I've frozen one of the wrist pitch. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. I, uh, my left arm is frozen too. The function is like, well, I don't want to get there from here. Eh. Or rack boxing. back and look down and box it. <coughs> pin that sucker. I think it's pinned. out a bit. Not good. Bombs away. Uh, I think so. Oh. The bolts uh, under the black table sink it. 
Uh, you can box back out. That's good. That's good. Do I have it? I don't know. Looks like you got that right in the T. The only way to hold these things because they freaking are they so slip. they're heavy, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna have to box out. And I got it. Okay, boxing in. Right. Okay, racking out. Panning lifts. Spaz, men spaz, freeze fail. White. <laughs> I don't want unfreeze. Unfreeze fail. <laughs> yeah, Megan, uh, this is gas tight 22, but other than that, you can remove the coordinates anytime. Okay. Peace fail. Uh, zoom in there for us. see it. Yep. Are you happy with that? Yep. yep. Freeze. That looks really good. Okay, you can go wide. Dun, Bit of an awkward dun, 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 uh, dun. angle for the Magnum. I don't think so. We can see the O-ring at least from here, so. It's going to take to shift change to get the magnum out there. Cool. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, worms. Watch out, worm. Yeah, it might be Again, no help on bow. Now I see. Now I see where I am. I want to push in there a bit, maybe. Will that help, or will it make it worse? Contacting the Magnum. Contact. Okay, ready for the back slap? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, not quite. Almost. Up a bit. Ah. 
That might not be the optimum angle. Doesn't look like the O-ring slid. No, I need to uh, do something, something here. I'm not sure what. Can you uh, pen left a bit? button. I think I'm close enough to open the jaw there and get it. Yep. Yeah? Uh-huh. Nope. <laughs> Hit it with the tip. Maybe be able to see it better. Leave it. Leave the jaw open. Oh, yeah. Eventually. It's on it. There you go. Okay, I'm going to close the jaw now. Do that a couple more times. Got no more shoulder left. Hard to say if that did it. Yeah, can't quite see the orange. We can always lift it out, look at the O-ring, reposition the craft if it hasn't gone yet. Yeah. Try one more. Uh, sure. Oh, my ears away from it. Zoom in there for a speed. It's 
crazy that that's not going. I think it's going. Yeah. Oh. That feels like it went. Yeah. Looks I'm like still it. in the vent. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, yeah, you're in the vent. No problem. Yeah, I see it going. Yeah. Yeah, that looked good to me. <laughs> we'll take a look at that O-ring. But that looked like a good sample. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? <clears throat> it really looked like it moved. It did, but... Is the O-ring just kind of stuck, or...? No, I don't think it moved. I think it was. I don't know. All right, we'll give it one more go. Sure. Zoom in, please, Pete. I'm trying to do a different angle here. The wrist back slap is the best angle because. Oh. Yep. Sorry. That was me. Oh. Go back it off. Back it off. <coughs> it's crazy how, like, you, if you're just a little off, it actually pushes the sub that. Yeah. That easily. Oh, I was yeah. hanging on it's by a toe. I know. It's a lesson, though, for me. I'm always thinking to myself, like, oh, I just, like, wiggle it in. So, an analogy, float in the pool on your back with your feet out of the water and put your toe on the edge of the pool. Yeah. That's what we're doing. <laughs> and then try to sample a 300-degree vent. <laughs> Oh, no, try and drink your beer. <laughs> I was feeling it. <laughs> and don't burn yourself. And don't burn yourself. Yeah. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull out just a little bit okay. while you come in there and land. Okay, should be safe there. Oh. Doink! Watch out for that camera. You should be good to land there. I think. Roger. Have to come up. Oh, too much. Uh, maybe come to your left a little, because I have no shoulder left with the magnum. That was. Yeah, we could back away and let you guys do it. Oh, you can sit there and heckle us. <laughs> you can sit there and heckle us and laugh. <laughs> I'll listen to that guy. He's still drinking coffee. This <laughs> penis. <laughs> it's like our one snack. And raisins. <laughs> and raisins. So. so many raisins. Freeze fail. <laughs> Okay, Pete, zoom in for us. Not more. Uh, zoom in a bit tighter. You're going to have to move my camera. <laughs> If you want to. I have the lights on. Really.
Okay, I'm clearly in the vent, right? Oh, Ooh. yeah, moving this up. Yep, 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 yeah, yep. that's nice. Don't want to do freeze fail now. It's <clears throat> a good angle. All you got to do is press that plunger. Yeah, it looks <laughs> so simple. This is a great camera view for the, um, to see it plunge. Get it done. Get her done. Okay, wrist left, back slap. Oh, no, 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 steady. Shit's I'm like steady. wailing on that thing. There it goes. It's going. The ROV's moving the whole ship. <laughs> Wow, I was pressing on it pretty hard there. I definitely saw it travel. It looks like it's maybe just not bouncing back or the O-ring's just not sliding with it. Yeah, I think maybe. The O-ring could just be stuck in between those hex head bolts. <sighs> just give it one more tap if you can while you're here. Roger. Sweet. Uh, Dan here. wants to plunge this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've plunged it like twice now. The plumber. Okay, giving it the old back slap. Nope. That ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> Side slap. I'm about to give up, cry uncle. Why is that not working? Oh, there, there it go. goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a plunge. Nice. Okay, <laughs> <Can't, laughs> we're out of here. <laughs> No, serious? Uh, we'll pull that out. Unless you want to run away now. We got two minutes. Pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> 21 seconds, Dan. Our bug out time for uh, then your, was 3 o'clock. Your bus also, driver's leaving. So. <laughs> yeah, it, we're at oh. bug out. This is perfectly timed. Nice. Okay. That's a uh, good sample. Zoom wide and uh, rack back. What did you say was next? Uh, um, no, hold on. We're going to we'll transit it and then you to come out of there. RC mooring oh, okay. south the east mooring. IP. And we're going to pop a mooring. Ooh, mooring poppage. Yeah, you guys are going to sleep through all the fun deck work. <laughs> Darn. I'm going to go off comms. Uh, just the freeze, the freeze fail is getting worse. Yeah, yeah, the, the no, always, always the arrow. Never the archer. <laughs> Three more. I think. <laughs> You're just doing it up. You're doing it on purpose. 
<laughs> Put that thing in the toolbox. Dan's clearly ready for, uh, for bed. Back enough to all. Alrighty. See ya. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> oh, good work. That was awesome. Because of my bad back. I mean, good morning. Good morning. Josh, I guess no one else is on comms. Uh, it's, we're, we're working on it. Just give us a minute. Well, yeah. Oh, you mean nobody said I'll say good morning to me? Uh, what are we doing, AJ? Oh, wait, Trevor is... Well, let's wait until we're all on comms. Today, Trevor. I'm, I'm on comms. There I've been we on go. Comms forever. Good morning, Trevor. Yeah, hey. Okay, so we're going to head back to the Grotto camera... Uh, on our way towards the tool basket, we'll pick up our little chisel tool, and then um, I don't think we have anything to do at the tool basket, so I think we're just going to transit to RCM Southeast from there. Roger. So right now we're looking at Dante. You can see where we are and where we sort of came from on the ROV nav. Um, we're going to want to make our way, just kind of follow our trail back to the camera, which hopefully will have lights on. Sean, can you get yeah. make sure the lights are on? I did turn them on at some point. You can do that from here? Yes, what very slowly. On this map, this is all shifted down here. Mm -hmm. So we're like here. But I'm going to follow my little green trail back to the camera? Yeah, you can follow your green trail, and the camera <coughs> should be over here. Oh, right. Yeah, so gotcha. Do, 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 boop. All right. I'll get the ship moving. So which way around this thing do I want to go then? The, the left side? Over? Right. Yeah, just, yeah, go a little bit north and then down. North first, right yeah. side. I mean, they should be on. Yeah. We'll know soon enough. Don't you want to come around this clockwise? 
I don't know. I got to wrap in the tether, but does that matter? Clockwise. Yeah, like you can look on ROV nav. We've sort of wrapped around this, haven't we? We came clockwise. Now we're going to unclockwise, I think. Uh, okay. According to ROV nav. Maybe I'm uh, confused. Maybe I'm confused. Following the green trail back, or are we going? Yeah, follow the green trail. Or just like the little wee one. I'm talking to my navigator, but. Yeah, you can follow that trail. I don't think you need to go this high up over. You can probably take a straight shot, but you want to probably keep a little bit away from Atalanta. I don't know. That's, that's up right. to you. As long as, uh, is this the top of, uh, what, do we, what do we say this is? This is Dante. 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 Uh, there's maybe a little bit higher, but this is pretty close to the top. Okay, well, Trevor, you got the, the thing? I'm delting. You coming up? Uh, well, yes and no. I can't see. Well, why is that all like that? I got scared. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot a of smoke around here. There's yeah, a vents around here. You'd like me to get the ship moving? Yes, please. Can do. Thank you. Bridge, nav. Can we move 20 meters west? That's not the way I want to go. You want to come down more? No, no, I just... Okay. Well, I want to take a wrap out of the tether. That's what I'd like to do. Well, Megan, you said you wanted me to come north. Um, I mean, you just want to keep away from these things. But, yeah, yeah you can take a straight shot. This is where we're heading. Better date. Later date. We have a question on SPL for our ROV pilots. Uh, Dan was getting a lot of freeze fails towards then there. Um, so oh, wow. what causes those? I think that was a bit jokey, but yes, <laughs> we got a few. And uh, what causes them and what does that mean for you all? Uh, Dan's light fingers. Light he fingers. He, he didn't take the button pushing course. <laughs> so he's having a hard time pressing button. Okay. I'm actually out of date on my button pushing course too. So, <laughs> buddy, have you been certified this year? Not, not this year. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I've been having some trouble. Um, the freeze on the arm is is you freeze it by pressing, literally pressing a button and then pressing it again to unfreeze it. And uh, sometimes the button doesn't seem to work, but it's always difficult to say if it's a user error or if it's the button itself <laughs> um, but sometimes it is definitely the button if it sticks or something yeah the buttons do wear out but the first step of the button wearing out is just make fun of the person that can't do it yeah. until everyone can't do it and then we finally change the button yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so this, this might be Dudley this is southwest of Dante coming up a bit Trevor Okay. I don't know. Up is best. Hulk's nearby, yeah, up too. Up is best. You don't want to wrap your tether around the top of this thing. Yeah. No, thank you. Oh, great. A lot of smoke. Foggy. A lot of smoke, yeah. How did they... What? Oh, I don't want to get in trouble. No, I know I got it, Dave. It's, yeah. I know it's there. I'm, I'm trying, but... I'm also trying to avoid all these things. This is the, uh, the challenge of this dive. Well, usually we have pretty set paths through these things and know where we're going, but we didn't seem to... I think this is the first agreed. time we've been over this way. Okay, it's also challenging because the map is off, so you get a little turned around. It's all south, right? I'm, okay. Yeah, so... If I guess you're coming around this feature to the south, and we came in from the north. Yeah, if you come south and then you just go west, we'll see cables. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll find our way from there. That's Roger. no problem. Hey, Josh, as you pass me south, I'd rather go to starboard, which makes your wraps worse. Uh, sorry, I said that wrong. I'd rather go to port, which makes your wraps worse. Well, I can just take a wrap out. Let's take a wrap out. Can I take it out now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Taking a wrap out. Okay. Coming all the way back to 270. Ship's completed the move. Roger. Atalanta's starting to get on her way. <coughs> okay, 
Here's the wrap, Trevor. Okay. I put it half back in, so now you're at half wrap, which is fine. Roger. Megan, can you show me on the map where we're seeing the where we're expecting the camera right now? Um, the camera should be right around where all the green squiggles are. Green squiggles, Roger. Thank you. And the lights are on, AJ. You said. Uh, yeah, the lights yeah, are on. They should, they should be, be on. on yeah. You can see right here. There should be. Yeah. That's what I needed. My lighthouse. <laughs> it is a good feature. In the darkness. We're just having a look at this, AJ? No, we're just going to go pick up a tool oh, we right. dropped. Yeah. I'm right above you, so I'm going to keep a pretty big delta. Okay, I'm coming Come down. down a bit. Yeah, so oh, yeah. I'm coming down. it should be over on that side. What is that direction? <laughs> <laughs> coming down on the camera. You mean is the it on hockey the stick? Yeah, our hockey stick. On the grading uh, stick? Grading? Grading? Yeah, I think it was uh, in between that's it the right two. There. Right there. Yeah. What's well, up there? Are we grabbing yeah. that weight as well? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, you can see it to the right of the green cable. Yeah, it's just all messed up. It's tied in there. We'll just get that and be on our way. Our temporal we yoinking that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we couldn't get it out. It's like really in there. Uh, the tool is? No. No, oh, the no. bars. Are using oh, the, the bars is permanent. But the, yeah. the yeah. tool slid down, and then we bugged out. No point in like, is one cutting that cable off or whatever. No. Okay. One day that bars will just eject itself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think so? No. <laughs> it is one with nature now. It with, it's really in there. Yeah. That was, that was quite a bit of fun. I think Dan was smiling ear to ear. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was given permission to be a little Andrew? reckless. Yeah, it's, it's kind <laughs> of yeah, like one right. of those anger rooms where you can just like <laughs> just scream, break things, <laughs> scream into a pillow. I think yeah. he would have been more satisfied if it came free, though. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we all would have been. I'm glad he he was very um, careful around the uh, new bars installation, which I'm very <laughs> thankful for. Because they're very close together. Hmm. Miss. Still warming up. Oh, we one? got a. That's a long one. Whoa! Hello. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was not what I expected. <laughs> Let me just try that again. Make a big dust cloud so I can't see. And then, uh, where are we putting this thing? Um, we can put it. I don't know. Will it fit in the bio box? It was on the porch. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no, no, no. Careful, oh, careful, oh, careful. Do that. Come on. Oh, no. Get out from underneath there. Oh, that was an even better position. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you floated it unintentionally. Purpose, yeah. If we could get the camera when you're ready, obviously. If we could get the camera just to look at the wand. Yeah. Just yeah. make sure it didn't. Sorry about that. Get bumped free. Put the bead bag on top of it. Did somebody already say that? No, that's an excellent suggestion, Josh. Can I have a little more porch down, please? Or what is it called? Uh, camera tilt down. Thank you. That's good there. This is a Trevor signature maneuver. Wow. Well, oh, that wasn't a, that was not removed yet, I guess. It was. Oh. Then they had to because it was zip tied over this tool. Sure. Then what tie wrap did I just break? Oh, there might have been one still remaining in the bottom corner or something. Wow, Trev. Okay. Uh, let's check that uh, thingy out. Make sure I didn't goof Better that up. Name Trevor. What? Nothing. Looks like it's still in there to me. Yeah, looks good. Okay, arm secure. Roger. What's the plan, Stan? Okay, so the plan is to transit to RCM Southeast. Um, Megan, do you know where that is? Uh, 
I'm guessing somewhere very far away southeast. It's yeah. about one knot, one nautical mile away. Okay. So I don't know if we want to go into some sort of fast, high-speed tow mode. No, not worth it. Not worth it for one nautical mile? No. Okay. Then we'll, we'll zip. We'll just zip. I love it. All right. Can we, can we come straight up, like, 200 meters? Yeah, why not? Because I don't want to mess with this stuff. Yeah, how high off the um, seafloor is the... Um, mooring? Mooring, yeah. Um, I believe they're about 250 meters. Okay. Neat. And uh, what's their minimum depth? What's the depth of the highest point is what I'm trying to ask. I don't have that for you. We'll get back to the seafloor before we get there. Yeah, yeah the, the, the IP is should be on the near side of the mooring. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to go as far as the mooring itself. We're just going to go to the IP. Come on, Trevor. Yeah, we can get set up now. Uh, JB11, I have lat long here for you if you'd like it, Nav. Uh, I think I found it on the map here. I'm just trying to uh, zoom in. Let me try to see here. This is on high pack survey. Yeah. Uh, yep, that looks like it. RCM Southeast 2019. It was just really hard to read. <laughs> There's something else like right behind it. Huh. Yeah. All right. I don't think there's anything shallower around here aside those from those moorings of the 2100, if I'm remembering right. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be passing over this little bit of a valley. Yeah. Um, so 200 meters off bottom should be plenty. Yeah, so, okay. All right. We can probably start a ship move now. We'll keep coming up. By so the time we see it, it'll be, we'll be done. Sounds good. There is the potential hazard of that um, west ridge crest south sediment trap. It doesn't look like we'll be passing too close to it, but that is a 70 meter tall uh, sediment trap. Oh, yeah, we well. won't come anywhere near that. Yeah. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Josh. You Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Thanks, Dave. Bridge Nav. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Bridge Nav. Let's move it one knot, Megan. Yeah. Max, we don't need to go that fast if you can't, but just don't <laughs> go faster. What's the ETA on that? It'll be about an hour. Okay. What do you want? I know, I sped up. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to get away from you just because.
Did I, what was our bearing to target? 179? That's pretty south. Yeah. I don't even know if I'd call that southeast or west or whatever you said. No, it's pretty south. It's south. The the axis of the of Endeavour kind of runs southwest, but because it's shifted on the axis a bit. Right. Megan, is it possible to zoom in on the text of the point that's just northwest of RCM South East? You see, uh, no, no, sort of uh, northwest of where your cursor is. Oh, over here? Yeah, what are those? Oh. I know, I've zoomed in too far. <laughs> that might be the sediment trap we're looking that that we're being warned about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a sediment trap. Yeah. Does it have a year on it? Uh, it's so difficult when the text is on top of There's too many uh, so close together. Let me uh, No, like no. It. Okay. Well, let's just be aware year. that there might be a sediment trap there. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah. We, we will be very far away from that. But we'll keep that in mind just in case we lose DP and head in a direction. We're still up above it. If Herc is 96 meters oh, off yeah. bottom. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll be plenty above bottom. It yeah. shouldn't be a problem. AJ, what's the point of powering off J10 on JB11? Oh, what's the point of it? What's the point of any of this? Um, that's probably the mooring, no? Nope, J9. Uh, it doesn't look like there's... We're talking about Endeavour RC South? Yep. Well, if you look here at the site layout diagram, you'll see that only J10 and J13 are plugged in, so there's some discrepancy there. Yeah, in the dive plans it's saying power off J9 and J10 on JB11, but as we go through, like, looking at RC... Like One. the instructions, it just says to power down J9, so I'm trying to figure out the discrepancy here. All right, let's look. I mean, it says there's mud Is there mats. a cable tester on one of them? Mud mats, media converter, media converter. I don't know, I don't really know what this is, to be honest. That's probably to the southwest mooring. Ah, uh, so it's an, in anticipation to to do the other mooring as well? Well, no, there's no mooring there. Oh. So we're probably just making sure it's still off. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll request it's, those turning, two still then. Yeah, we're just turning everything off. It should already be off. Okay. That is confusing. Yeah. It should be off already. Yeah. It says shore support. But I, I guess we'll just request when, when systems comes up, we'll request that he confirms that it, it's also off.
Yeah, I think mud mat, mud mat is the that's the 870 meter that's going to go all the way to RCM southeast. Or sorry, southwest. Yeah. So it says mooring recovered, extension ID 44 left connected to cable tester. But, it, it, yeah. Megan. Yeah? Hey. I know hey. you're busy navigating, but there's a question about your shifts. So you have two four-hour shifts in a day. Is yeah. Is there any reason why it's set up like that? Why you're not on the same 12-hour? Oh, a 12 hours being in here navigating would be really mentally challenging. Mm -hmm. So the ROVs are doing the, the 12 hour, but they have three people on their shifts, so they can take turns uh, taking a break and getting some fresh air and snacks. Snacks, yes, that's important. <laughs> Oriel on the bridge says 12 hours would be an insane long watch to be on the bridge. On the bridge? Oh, heck no. I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four hours keeps you nice and fresh. Uh, you can take a mental break, take a nap. The downside of the four hours is you have eight hours off in between, which means that not really possible to get a full eight hours of sleep. Yeah. Unless you're just really magical and you can just instantly fall asleep. And wake up a minute before watch. Exactly. Right. <laughs> and not eat in that time. Do you, yeah. Do you find you nap on your other break? <laughs> yes, I definitely nap on my other break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I usually take a, an hour to an hour half nap. Nice. It's kind of nice having a nap in the middle of the day. <laughs> when I get back to shore, I miss it. You don't nap at home? Oh, I can't nap oh, when I I'm like... I definitely nap at home. Uh, ROV? Hello. There's been a request to have lasers on just in case we see some sea monsters. <laughs> sea monsters? K. We can measure them. I got it, Josh. <laughs> Laser. Thank you. Hey, video. Can we zoom just past the thingy on the right there? Thank you. 
sea monsters. But only if they're two centimeters, right? These lasers are 10 centimeters Ten. apart, I think. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah, so it kind of lost the boat. I was like, where's the boat? I'm amazed you can see anything on there, Megan. It's just a big black wall of yeah. text. <laughs> so much text. Yeah. Oh, there are just so many things you have down there. So many points. So much garbage. I mean, instruments. Notable garbage. We clean up our garbage. <laughs> That's why you guys went back and picked up that yep. excavating tool. The pokey stick of science. The pokey stick of science, yeah. The hockey stick. <laughs> Why is it called a hockey stick? The ready rod hockey stick, because it has like a little bend at the end. Oh, it does it? Yeah. yeah. And we wrap it up with tape. Mm. It's not the world's largest hockey stick. We all know that's in Windsor, Nova Scotia. What? <laughs> no way. Is it bigger than Duncan's? I think there's been an ongoing debate I mean, it's pretty easily mm. solved debate. You just measure, measure it. Measure it. <laughs> <laughs> Will be soon, though. I hear they're they're going to get rid of the Duncan one. What? Where are they going to put it? I don't know, but it's it's made out of wood, right? It's it's rotting pretty bad. No way. Wood doesn't rot. <laughs> <laughs> they have a uh, a bunch of birds living in it now. Oh, in goodness. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Do you imagine them, someone choosing to buy it and then trucking that away? I've just seen that <laughs> on the back of a truck. <laughs> Holy. Extra wide load. Yeah. It's a hockey stick. I wonder if we're ever going to move it all. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, there we are. <laughs> the ships like Sia, Atalanta's <laughs> like hanging that. out still. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well, just goes to show you how that pendulum effect works. Oh, totally. <laughs> because when we stop the ship, we're going to have to wait a while for Atalanta to swim back under. Mm hmm But as we get closer to our spot, we'll probably slow down and let the ship reorient during that whole process. Oh yeah. I don't have to haul in. I keep having to pay out to keep our depth. Yep. I'm getting all Pythagoras. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do the math for that. Dan was making me do math the other day. <laughs> I saw what that in angle? our notebook. Yeah. <laughs> what angle do you need to be at so I can roll out this cable exactly just right? I'm like, just do it. <laughs> yep. Oh no. It's going away. Don't you feel a sense of falling? Yep. That brings me back. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I like that you somehow still have Doppler beams. Oh, I say as you lose one. <laughs> I know, that's pretty impressive. Can Herc outswim Atalanta, or is it will it eventually catch up? 
Well, they're attached, AJ. <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand that question. Yeah. Okay, who's going to win the race? Herc Map South. Well, Herc or Herc Atalanta? Herc's in front. Herc, yeah. Herc oh, unless the, it depends how fast the ship moves. If the yeah. ship moves 18 knots, then I know, but lose. The, ship's moving, <laughs> the ship's moving one knot. So <laughs> that's why we picked one knot, because Herc can stay ahead of Atlanta. Okay. Instead of being dragged. Wonderful. That's why we've got the smartest guys oh, on yeah. the ROV. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> some real disagreement. That's why we got some guys. <laughs> People that would do it. <laughs> That's why we have volunte volunteers. <laughs> yeah. As far as ROV pilots go, we're definitely the most on board. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are, there is that other crew. Well, that there, I'm including them in the ROV team. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Us six plus Chernov are the most on board of any ROV pilot. <laughs> what has to happen for you guys to give me a shot at the ROV? Oh gosh. Insurance? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. If we sort out the insurance, then you'll let me have a crack? Oh, no, 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 AJ, I know you. We need a drug test. Uh, <laughs> we're going to need oh, to goodness. do a few certifications. Background check. Background check. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. I saw um, Mel and I earlier up here with Megan Flying and someone army. else. No, she was uh, playing with the craft arm. No. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch that, AJ. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm for sure doing it. <laughs> mm -mm. Was the sub in the water? Yeah, I yeah. think so. They were doing... Uh, we were on descent. descent. Yeah. Because I remember seeing it on the feed. I'm like, hey, what's happening? Oh, my. J just doing some exercises. Yeah. Now I know it's possible. The dream's alive. Not probable. <laughs> I think the next ONC crews, all the ONC people should be in the front row, and we should be in the back row. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> let's do row swap. <laughs> you mean just responsibilities to too, or you just want to be in the front row? No, no, no. <laughs> Roles and responsibilities. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Josh can tell us how to not grab a connector for once. Absolutely. <laughs> wrist, wrist up. <laughs> wrist up. Do it better. Be Dollar better. Dollar second. Dollar second. We'll be back there saying, like, Turn off J2 on JB74. <laughs> Contact shore, shore support. <laughs> Something. Making everything up. Systems. Talk to systems. Yep, system says it works. We're good. System says we need to read this hole. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you do. Just say it on stuff. Okay. Yeah, you, just, you just follow the, the list yeah, of we tasks. Just read the right. list. Nico writes the list, we just read it. It's pretty simple. You're like, step one, remove. <laughs> step two, transit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's the ship? It's gone. Oh, it fell off oh, the yeah. Earth. Roger. The Earth is flat, confirmed. Do you guys spend any time uh, with ROV simulators at all? No. 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 I know that phone app, ROV simulator, but that's it. There's a phone <laughs> app, ROV simulator. <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I've never, never <laughs> looked. That'd be the worst. That would be a really bad <laughs> game. It'd be so frustrating. <laughs> Just this. Just like throw <laughs> your phone at the ground. Like, uh, there's a Steam game that's coming out or has recently come out that's like an ROV simulator. Oh, is there really? Yeah. No way. Oh, I'm no. looking this up. What kind of controller does it use? It's just a computer game, so you're just using keys on your keyboard. Mm. Okay. You have to use seven phones for the seven function manip. <laughs> M8-R sim, free underwater ROV virtual simulator. <laughs> Sub ROV on Steam. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. $18. <laughs> 
I ain't got that kind of money. <laughs> right? Is that, is that Canadian dollars? Yeah, that's like US dollars. That's that's a little too much. Partially funded by NSF and Schmidt. Oh, well then you should buy it, AJ. But they use like actual real animals, deep sea animals in it. Rise of the vents. Wow, this looks pretty educational. The ship looks just like the Nautilus. Does it? I don't know. It has an A-frame. It has an A-frame. Uh, <laughs> it looks just like the Nautilus. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from there. I think it's modeled after the Noah ships. Listen, I was just making a nice comment. I didn't need to be fact-checked. <laughs> For viewers at home, just fun <laughs> fact: Nautilus is one of the only ships with an A-frame. Yeah. Just trying to, just trying to pump us up. <laughs> love that. I love that one. The Jolly Seabird doesn't have an A-frame, all right. So it doesn't look like the Jolly Seabird. Doesn't look like the Crown Royal. Hey, the Crown Royal oh, has a sweet davit. Yeah, it's got a davit, no A-frame. <laughs> Depends how you draw your A, I guess. We're talking about getting an A-frame. We're just talking about it, though. That'd be pretty great. The Crown Royal is one of my absolute favorite work boats. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty versatile work platform. It's just so loud. Anytime we transit in it, I immediately fall asleep. Because of the loudness? Yeah, because of the noise. The loudness puts you to sleep. Like, it's just all white noise. You yeah, that's true. There's nothing you can do but sleep. It seems very loud, but it's about the same loudness as like a Dash 8 taken off. That and the smell of samosas. Just oh, the engine asleep. samosas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> engine samosas? To heat them up, you put them on the engine block wrapped in tin foil. Oh, that sounds good. Super tasty, yeah. Just ignore the black streaks on it. You just cut those off. <laughs> Fair. <coughs> How sweet would a bow A frame be, though, AJ? Yeah. For uh, moorings? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, this is the dream. The, yeah. The ONC dream, right, of having a work boat. <laughs> Y'all don't have work boats, but you had boats out, I saw, in the port that we left. We oh. have a, we have a boat. It just it doesn't have a big deck. Mm. We have issues with our boat. But you were probably noticing DFO's uh, coast, coast Guard ships. Yeah, oh, the maybe. big red ships are not yeah. ours to yeah. play with. Yeah. And I think one of the ones in port there is being decommissioned. We're going to need a bigger map. <laughs> oh yeah, our boat's looking really tiny on that map now. Space ROV. Yeah, yeah I, z I zoomed out. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Is that Where's the dot destination where we're on high pack? Oh, it's still further south. Oh, good gravy. Oh, goodness. Oh, there, there it is. Yep. There it is. Now the boat Goodness is really teeny gracious. tiny. What a fun way to start your shift. Mm-hmm. The old blue water transit. Yeah, too bad you can't just scrub forward. <laughs> like in video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> Two times speed. I should be able to do that with video, life. Video, can we get a fast forward, please? <laughs> when we're there. I want those two triangles pointed to the right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm just going to keep paying out so that when we get there and I 
Stop paying attention, I hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. Well, we won't be here for it, so you can do what you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is great. I love that. We won't be here. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's we'll hilarious. Be our <laughs> then you guys get to go up for an hour after you've done this. Yeah. <laughs> but we get to do the fun thing of cutting free and mooring, so that'll be all right. Hey, AJ. This person not that is here. definitely in the back row yeah, and AJ's is not gone. away. Yeah, AJ stepped out. You got a question? For Sean Not now. now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sean, okay, I got a question for you. Yeah. What way is the current going, sub C here? The current? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, don't even know, know about if that. AJ could help you with that. We might have some ADCPs around here that could tell us, but. The reason I'm asking is when we pop this mooring, where is it going to go? Yeah, that's a very good point. It's going to go up. Yeah. And then it's just going to go wherever. <laughs> we'll mm. get chase it down. Yeah. I want to move the ship away from it as it comes up. Mm, makes sense. We know what the surface current's doing. Yeah. But what yeah. is it doing in the dark, deep depths? Well, Half the time, uh, these things just come straight up. Yeah, let's file that in the back of our minds for now. Well, the dive plan says there's supposed to be a proposed new mooring location. So it kind of sounds like that well, is yet to be determined. No, it's, it's going to be at the same site, I think, more or less. We've got to connect to it, so... <coughs> What do these moorings do? Uh, so they, yeah, they, they have a couple of instruments on them at different varying heights. Okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of CTDs. Oh, okay. Perhaps ADCPs as well. So that you might actually be able to derive the current from that. Rumor has it that's what the C stands for. Yeah. Hmm. Anyone know what the depth is at that mooring? Give me a sec. I'll take a look. Same. <laughs> Sorry? Yep. 
the old volt amps. Two 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 zero. Two 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 zero. Thank you. Don't know if that matches up with Bathy. It might be a little bit shallower than that, but seems like a good guess. Two 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 two. Hey AJ. <laughs> hey AJ. Do you know um, if this mooring has ADCPs on it, and if we can perhaps get a reading on current directionality? The mooring does have ADCPs on it. So maybe maybe that'd be worthwhile information so we know where this thing's going to release. I mean, this thing's got a lot of buoyancy on it for its weight. I think it's it's going to come pretty straight. Yeah. Careening up straight. Yeah, pretty okay. fast, pretty straight. But let's take a look at Oceans 3.0 before we turn it off, unless they've already turned it off. They have not yet. But so it's going to happen snip soon. It and get the heck out of Dodge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's possible that this morning's not working if we're recovering it, or could just oh, be Oh yeah, old. that's a good point. You know what? I'll I'll get my guys to look at it. <laughs> your guys. My guys. Get those guys. My shore support Boring. guys. Southeast. Two hundred and fifty ADCP upwards. Oh, ADCP data. Really a pain on on oceans. Oceans. You can't do plotting utility. You have to do no. like yep. data preview for the um, day, because then you get the auto generated. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah. Give it a shot. Really testing my oceans. Oh, bye. Ability. Bye. Hey, uh, AJ. Yeah. Um, we're gonna add something to your site diagrams. Yep. Uh, right here is where the bead bag is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey. Uh, okay. Thanks. Can we can we get a location? Yeah. Here you <laughs> go. <laughs> oh my god. Was well well done, Trevor. <laughs> that was yeah. uh, a really neat little ejection there. I don't know if you got a chance to see that. <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna have down. to make a separate site diagram just for this space. <laughs> One bead bag. Yeah. That just. Ejected. I don't even know how. Yeah, I don't think our ADCP was working. Is working today. Oh, that darn. Way. Oh, yeah. Right. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're gonna be exceptionally light. So that's fine. That means we'll what come about fast. those instruments? It was holding down though. Uh, it was sitting on top of the rod, but that's it heavy. Like two things. So is the bead bag though. So here we are. <laughs> huh. Never seen that before. That was really cool. Video coming off for a minute. You have your uh, watch change. Yep. Time, July 7th, UTC. What's the date today? It's the 8th. So I don't have, we don't have the auto-generated plot. So I think I'd have to download the data in data search and then analyze it in MATLAB in order to get anything useful. And that's only the downward facing one. So it wouldn't even give us. What about the 200 meter current meter? That's at least that gives us a data point. Do, do, do. Current velocity magnetic east, current velocity magnetic north. Last two hours, plot. No current. No, I got like a uh, back on comms. Point zero 
zero five meters per second to the east and point zero one seven meters per second to the north so sl very slightly northeast Why are there two waypoints right on top of each other? Because we go back to the same place a lot. All right, fair enough. Yeah. So just a warning uh, for NAV and for ROV. If we're approaching from the north, we will see the mooring first because the mooring is 37 meters north of the junction box. Mooring first before the junction box, Roger. And the mooring is 271 Side. meters tall. Yeah, so we're going to see that at our current depth in sonar. Yeah. So ideally we shot the ship before that. Yep. Yeah. Roger. Okay. Hey, Lynette, would you say we're about halfway there? Um, I don't know where we started, but I can tell you how far away we are. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> we started up at the... We are 180 meters away. Okay, we started at MEF, so if you scroll up... Yeah, yeah it looks like we're about looks halfway. about half, yeah. But the ROVs are tr trailing yeah, a little trailing. behind. Lynette, can you measure how far we've come from all the, from that big <laughs> black text? <laughs> big black <laughs> area. Yeah. The clump. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, about halfway, 180 meters. Okay. All oh, right. Wait. No, it's a lie. I'm sorry. <gasps> uh, looking a at the kilometer. wrong thing. Yeah. 980 meters and 760, 760 to go. Okay. Right on. Yeah. We're flying. Yep. Josh is. Well, I guess I'll request systems to turn off the stuff now. Or at least give them the, their early morning email alert. Yeah. Ooh, early morning email alert from Sean. Turn off systems. Yeah. 
Good morning from watch 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. Good morning. Good morning, 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. watch. Aren't you guys super jazzed to be up at 4 a.m.? So jazzed. You I've never been you more look excited it. in my life. I can only hmm? kind of hear. I've never been more excited in my life. Am I the only one that can only kind of hear Jacob? Yeah, I can't hear Jacob at all. Uh, all right. Is Jacob uh, talking? No. Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. But none, that, of, none of us heard you. That's better. Yep. That's odd. What's up? So that's odd. Only 10 days to only 12 days later, we finally tell you that we can't hear you. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Have you been talking this whole time? Whole time. <laughs> Hey, Lynette, can you please switch the location source solution, whatever, to USBL? Sure can. On ROV nav? You're yeah. good, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for Dave. Is that a thing? Is Dave on comms? Yeah. 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 There he is. Morning, Dave. Morning. <laughs> He's so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> to be nervous or not, nah. I don't know. Um, I wanted to like hear about your journey of being, I don't know what you are, an ROV pilot. I'm, I mean, I know you're an ROV pilot, but like, are you more than? Or that's like, I am an ROV pilot through and through. I want to know more. Like, of all kinds of things, I guess. ROV pilot, dad, festival director, <laughs> um, all around good egg and snappy dresser, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I only kind of understood that. What was that last part? Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 ah, I'm glad AJ understood and you could help translate that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a throwback to me Royal Navy days. So come on, Dave, don't leave us hanging. What'd you do with the Navy? I was a weapons engineer. Oh, there you go. So worked with everything from nine millimeter pistols to harpoon missiles and 20 millimeter cannons and all the associated equipment in between. So basically blew a lot of stuff up and got to play with the hydraulics, the electrics, the sonar, the video, everything in between to keep them running. <coughs> Yeah, the, the like, ranging systems and stuff? Some of it, yeah. yeah. I guess, is there, like, an area where you guys are just allowed to just go and fire stuff into the sea? You can't just randomly turn up, no. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. you got to get all kinds of clearances. But, yeah, there's a couple of gun gunnery ranges around the U.K., and other parts of the world. We've did a lot with the US, US Navy and US forces in various places. Very cool. You spent a lot of time on ships? Yeah. Basically been at sea since 1988. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a long time. That's a while. <laughs> Couple of breaks here and there, but nothing major really. What are some of the biggest ships in the Royal Navy? Nowadays, they've got well, like, is it Queen Elizabeth, which is big. It's biggest carriers we've had since probably since World War Two. It's an aircraft carrier. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but we went, we reduced the size of them all. Some of them, like the Ark Royal and the Illustrious, looked like tugboats whenever you pulled up alongside the Nimitz and things like that. You know. Mm -hmm. But then we didn't need to be as big because we're better. <laughs> they, I saw 
um, one of the U.S. aircraft carriers pulled into Halifax, uh, I don't know, four or five years ago. Yeah. It's crazy seeing them in person. It's like I, the size yeah, of Halifax. I didn't go to, yeah, it's like the size of Halifax. It's like yeah. Halifax pulling up next to Halifax. But yeah. yeah, just seeing it from shore, I mean, it's it's hard to to understand the scale of those vessels. Yeah, I spent back in the early 90s, mid 90s maybe, I spent three days on the Enterprise. Oh yeah, and yeah, that was that was something else. That was a bit of an eye opener. The USS Enterprise. Yep, big aircraft carrier. I'm guessing that answers a question that may have been asked in the prior watch of um, of all the ROV pilots on board who has the most experience. Thank you. Well, this question was probably asked earlier, but I also would like to know the answer of all the ROV pilots on board who has the most experience. Yeah, maybe uh, on board. I don't know. No Josh. way to know. Chernov? <clears throat> so the Enterprise class U.S. aircraft carriers have a length of 342 meters. Wow. Yeah. And Huge what's the problem. Nautilus? 66. 68. 68. 68. So how many times does 68 go into 342? A lot. Damn. Five. That was five times the length. Yeah, we're talking about a boat. Yeah, and I go to the, the gross tonnage of the Enterprise and compare it to the gross tonnage <laughs> yeah. of this. Yeah. It'd be, uh, There's probably a hundred times more people, too. Uh, let's see. Three and a half or four, th maybe more, 4,000 have been fully crewed on the Enterprise. Yeah, I was going to guess 4,500, so, yeah. Wow, compliment. It says here 5,800 max. Okay. Jesus Christ. So Ships over 100 company, times. 3,000. Air wing, 1,800. It's a lot of people. Wow. How many kitchens do you have in a thing like that? There's a couple. <laughs> I'd say, yeah. That's two. insane. At least two. <clears throat> And then those kinds of vessels mostly spend its life out at sea rather than in port, I assume. The American Navy do it very differently to the way we did it. We'd get runs ashore in different places all over the world, mm. whereas the U.S. guys, they'd be at sea for six or eight months at a, at a single stretch mm. and then get a port call somewhere. But, yeah. I'm just thinking. It was tough on them, that's for sure. Honolulu Harbor is not even close to being big enough for one of those things. Oh, it is. It is? Well, Honolulu Harbor, maybe not. They're definitely going. They can get into Pearl. Mm. Pearl Harbor. I can't wait for the pearls to return. Maybe they're down there somewhere. Yeah, once that flight deck starts running, it's just, if, if you're not, I guess you've got to be really used to it because it's just terrifying what's going on, the wind, the noise, the speed the ship's traveling at to get the aircraft off the deck. It's just incredible. Yeah. Welcome, Steph. Um, the next one, oh, there you go. Good you morning. Here? Hello. I feel like I've, I've only. This is my second time ever experiencing the van with you in it. It might be only my third time in it. Mm. How's it going thus far? Good. Just waking up. <laughs> Not much happening. We're talking about aircraft carriers. Okay. What did you learn? They're big. They're five times bigger than the vessel we're on now. No, Holy. Five times longer. Longer. Not even bigger. They're probably, yeah, more than five times bigger if you're doing it by tonnage. The only, like, 
thought and image I have in my brain is like Marvel movies and like those aircraft carriers and stuff and gigantic. Aren't those like hovercraft aircraft carriers? Yeah, bro. Isn't that wild? Oh my gosh. What's the beam on one of those aircraft carriers? And compare it to the beam on this and then see how many you can fit on the upper deck. Hang on, I gotta go back. Beam, 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 beam. Uh, 78.4 meters is the extreme, but 40.5 at the water line, because they, I guess they kind of stick out. Yeah. So let's go with 40.5. See, that's how, that's their beam? That's yeah. the beam. So, so I guess there is. So you're long. getting four of these across it as well, beam wise. That's beam like driving this. the Nautilus sideways. Yeah, you could put the Nautilus sideways on one of these. Almost, yeah. yeah. That's wild. I wonder how long it'll take us to do one lap around one of those things. Like to jog? No, like to s motor this boat uh -huh. around an aircraft carrier. <laughs> What would that be? I feel like that might be like a kilometer already. Oh, Hootie and the Blowfish played for the Enterprise. Mm. Who doesn't love that Hootie and the Blowfish song? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. Oh, what? Steph is with me. Somebody help me out. Me what's, neither. What's the big Hootie and the Blowfish song? I go blind. Mm. You know that one. Super catchy. Hey Josh, you gonna sing it for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be Rennie's birthday soon. When's Rennie's birthday? Is it 13 or 15? Who are you asking? It's the 13th. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's the 13th. Josh. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have a big party? No idea. Are we going to have a big party? We could um, put all the dive plans and like decorate them. And that could be our decorations for the party. <laughs> yeah, we'll just paper his room and dive plans. I'm sure he'd <laughs> really appreciate that. Look at all this experience we have diving together, Renny. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I just want to say, AJ, that I Go Blind is by 5440. <sighs> so then what was I looking at? Maybe Hooting the Blowfish did it, but it's a 5440 right, 5440 does it. Trevor's with you. He's helping you. All right, well, we're going to have to listen to the Hootie and the Blowfish version. <coughs> well, a new Mission Impossible movie. <laughs> you two bats are really working. <laughs> Did you guys do a transect already? You mean like a vertical one? I don't believe we have. Alrighty. No, that's definitely the right song. Hooting the Blowfish did a cover of it that was popular. So you think, so 5440, I Go Blind is from 1986. Hooting the Blowfish, I Go Blind is from 1994. You are correct, Josh. So then what's the- Yeah, BBD? Josh, you're correct. Oh, sorry, Tre Trevor. <laughs> I'm just gonna credit. Uh, only want to be with you. That's Hootie. That's Hootie. That's the one. And the hold your hand one. How does that one go? You have to sing a few bars and it'll tell you if you're right or wrong. <laughs> I'll just take a stab in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Guess and check. <laughs> just try every melody that there is and then I'll tell you when you got the right one. All right. We got time. Yeah. In this transit? Yeah. How could Hootie and the Blowfish rip off Canadian rock band and uh, icons, 5440, take credit for that song? I don't know if they took credit for it. It's one of their most popular songs, so. Some say. Oh, 
Why is Mike awake? So Why is he what? Is this the only thing we need systems for here? Mike Wazowski. Yes, that. I believe so. Okay, I'm going to tell him to sleep then. Why, have they done it? Yep, Kay. it's done. It's done. Both J9 and J10. Both J9 and J10. Excellent. Was anyone um, up and watching when we were, uh, let's see if I remember the word, securing the grates, the green grates to a place near the vent field when we were replacing it, the seismometer. We were replacing the seismometer grate. How successful was that? Because I remember a bean bag was punctured and it started leaking. and. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you you can turn it down. <laughs> No way. That's crazy. What's that, AJ? Well, I'm just saying I didn't know that the band 5440 was from Swasson. I also didn't know that. Cool. What's that band from Hope? I can't remember. Chilliwack? Yeah, Chilliwack. They're from Hope, right? They're not from Chilliwack? No. I love that. <laughs> That's great. You know the band Mother Mother? Yeah. They're from Quadra Island. Yeah, I think I remember that. Isn't the band Carmana from Victoria? Yes. I went, to Sarah? I went to school with one of those people. So did Nico. Hmm. Hot, hot heat. Victoria? Vancouver? I don't remember. Wasn't uh, Nelly Furtado from Vancouver Island? Yeah, Comox Valley. Yeah.
Okay, so quick update. I've put in a target in high pack about 100 meters north um, of the mooring. Roger. Um, we're gonna, we're slowing down now. We're gonna stop at that site and then slowly approach from there. Great, sounds good. Yep. That works. It'll take a while for Atalanta to settle out, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a while. We have so many whiles, are you kidding? No. Uh, I'm on strict orders to be on site at five. Yeah, we'll be on site at five. Ish, maybe, possibly. <laughs> I've got I've got your word ironclad. Possibly ish. Iron maybe. quad, possibly ish, maybe. Definitely possibly, maybe, on site at five, yeah. Yeah, great, great, great. Setting ourselves up for success. It's always five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Jeb Dexter? <laughs> I, sp I guess I've been spending too much time with him, huh? Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's like his catchphrase. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Were you in the lab, AJ, when uh, Fabio was going through his worms? No, I did not see palm worms. I mean, he showed them to me on uh, when they came off the ROV, but I, I didn't really want to see them any more than that. <laughs> so on our... Um, expedition page at the very bottom there's all the posts that's been going out oh. what's the link to that nautilus live uh nautilus live dot org backslash cruise backslash na151 backslash backslash or is it forward slash it should be forward slash, forward slash. oh shit. na what na1 151 I should have just said slash, and then I wouldn't have to have worried about whether it's <laughs> forward or backwards. Upside yeah, down just, slash. just let us figure it out. <laughs> what are backslash is used for? Oh, you know. Command on Windows. Command That's about it. on Windows. Yeah. Going through the terminal. <coughs> Oh yeah, those are really cool photos. Hmm. I don't have Twitter. Is it gonna kick me off? What, you mean it doesn't link to threads yet? What is threads? Facebook's version of Twitter. Oh, oh. neat, that's yeah. what the world needed. <laughs> <laughs> More Twitter. <laughs> Do we post on anything other than Twitter? I'm not sure. Nautilus LinkedIn. has it all. Nautilus has Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and... LinkedIn? Do they have LinkedIn? I'm pretty sure... We do have LinkedIn. Oh, interesting. The Twitter's not loading. Discord? Yeah, uh, I'm not Discord. Official. I'm not on Twitter. <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. I'm not on Instagram. Facebook. We have Facebook, too. I am on Facebook. We're getting hotter. How about MySpace? I didn't know that MySpace that was still a thing. Nexopia. Was anyone ever on this thing called Bebo? AOL. Oh, I dang. ICQ? You are dating yourself. No, no, no. <laughs> Just kidding. But really. No, no. I, I totally am. I wasn't expecting you to be... So experienced. Uh, I wasn't very experienced at AOL. I was like a little kid <laughs> trying never, to figure it out. Never got AOL. Like how though. the middle schoolers today have Gmails? Yeah. You were a middle schooler, schooler with AOL. Yeah. I just threw the CDs basically. at friends. Yeah. Cheap frisbees. Ask that on. Oh, you have to put your mic closer to your mouth. I can't hear you on here. Is that better? Yeah. So what was your question? How AOL is different than MSN. Can anybody answer? Because I have uh, no idea what MSN is. I don't so maybe it it's was Canadian. pretty, pretty no. similar. 
pretty similar, I AOL think. AOL was an internet provider that also came no, with like a CD. A <clears throat> AOL was like, it had its own chat function a lot like MSN. Sure, sure, sure. But I mean, it, it was an internet service. It provided you with internet. Yep, that's also true. It also had its own internet thing like where you, instead of typing in URLs, it would do like keywords or something. Yeah, it was kind of like its own version of Yahoo. I love this photo of Rye. She looks so happy carrying chain. She make her carry <laughs> chain more often. <laughs> I remember that moment. She was like grabbing the chain chain out of the metal box crate thing, and then like Marley runs over like, "Oh, I gotta get an action shot of this!" And then she's like, "I'm trying not to squish my fingers as I lift this." huge chain out of <laughs> the box. No good deck shots for the night shift, eh? It's too dark. Yeah. Messes up the lighting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Action Some very sciencey photos of Fabio. <laughs> He's not wearing his surgical gloves, so. He's a very just, sciencey just man. Doing science. Look at me, I'm a scientist and I do science. It's probably what he thinks at all times. <laughs> Ooh, worms. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> it's like AJ thinks, look at me, I'm a dive chief. Doing dive chiefy things. King of the castle, king of the castle. Well, it looks like the ship reached its waypoint. Yeah, we're just getting set up to hold position here. Um, can let Atalanta swing in yeah. a little bit more and then make our way south. Yeah. Is, is this ship going to want to reorient and then crab? I think so, yeah. Okay. I think that'll be the best way to do it. Sounds good. I found more action shots for you, AJ. Is that, are those on Twitter too? These are on our topside imaging album, the one that you uploaded oh, your wow. image to. Oh, <laughs> John, John. <laughs> <laughs> that bolt must have been really tight. Josh, we got you in action trying to do something on the ROV. <laughs> trying, to loosen, <laughs> trying to loosen a bolt. You look like you're going to blow a gasket. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this photo now. <laughs> this is the look that I get the most. Yeah, I've seen that look. Dave, this is That's you majority Dave, of the time. Resting Dave face. <laughs> that is you right now. <laughs> Resting Dave face. 